Hey guys, Karen Batty here uh, to share with you our new summer products. Yes, so excited. Um, if you love coffee, fancy coffees, teas, um, or you love to entertain, oh my goodness, I think you're going to like what we have come out with. I know I sure do. First and foremost, we have this cold brew pitcher. Now it's not just for cold brew coffee. You can do hot teas, um, sun teas, infused water, infused vodka, whatever you want. Um, and if you're wondering, you know, what's, what's the thing about cold brew? Well, with cold brew, time replaces heat. So you use cold water to, to um, pull out all the flavor of the coffee beans. But because there's no heat, you don't, you only pull out the flavor and none of the tannins. The tannins are what give it a bitter aftertaste um, and often give people heartburn. So this is gonna be the smoothest cup of coffee, you guys. Um, it, it's got a five cup capacity with the filter in. If you take the filter out, it's got a six cup capacity. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this off. This is the filter. It's a super fine mesh. It almost looks solid on the video, but it's a very fine mesh. And you're gonna add one cup of um, ground coffee beans. If you are grinding your own, um, it's better to have them a little bit on the um, not so fine um, end of things, okay? So you don't want them super fine. All right. I didn't aim well. You know, Pamper Chef has funnels. Perhaps I should have used them. Anyway, okay. So now I'm just gonna pour water over this. And then I'm gonna um, put it into the refrigerator overnight. You want it to brew for a good 10 to 12 hours. You can leave it up for 24 hours if you want to. The longer it's in there, the stronger it is. Um, but it doesn't taste strong. Like I said, it doesn't have those tannins in it. So it's a very deceiving. So be careful before you have too much of this. You just might not sleep for days. Um, anyway, so I'm just going to pour this in, let it steep. And tomorrow morning, I can have some nice cold brew coffee. I will be putting it into the refrigerator overnight. Um, now it is glass, so if you're doing a hot tea in here, that glass is going to be hot, but it's got silicone um, on the top and the bottom. So, and the handle, of course, stays cool to the touch. So you just want to be aware of that if you're doing any um, hot teas. All right, and it's as simple as that. Now, before I hopped on here, I put a little bit of um, uh, two percent milk into my milk frother. This I have used every single day since I got it. And uh, yeah, there it is. Check it out. Actually, I'll froth it up again because it's been sitting a little, a little too long. There we go. Normally, if you um, have a milk frother, you have to, or the ones we had anyway, you could only do enough froth for one cup of coffee. So you'd have to do it over and over and over again. This is a great size if you're entertaining, you can froth up a whole bunch of milk. And by the way, you can use milk, you can use cream, you can use non-dairy creamers as well in there. So have fun with it and try it out. I think you're gonna love it. And every morning, oh my gosh, it'll be like your own little barista in your home. Okay. Um, some of you might have seen this little number right here. I'm going to be using it because guess what? We've got a new coffee machine. Yeah, it's over here. First thing I love about it is it's, it's very sleek and compact. So when it's set right back here, look at all of this space that I have. You can still use the counter in front of the coffee maker. If you want, you can turn it sideways um, so you can see the, the, the width of that. It's nice and compact. Okay, so anyway, um, I don't know about you. I've got some skirts on and they have pockets. Don't you love when your skirt has pockets? Well, check out this. Uh, it's got a pocket on the side. Dun, da, da. And it's got little inserts here that are interchangeable. So this is the one I'm going to use. This one you put your own ground coffee into. This one's um, for a K-cup. And then this one is for Nespresso. 
So um, that's what my husband made this morning or my daughter, perhaps. I don't know. Okay. So you can make whatever you want in all, it's all in one machine. So this is the, excuse me, this is the one for the ground coffee. So I'm just going to open this up and um, I'm going to take one scoop of this, which is, you know, a, a regular scoop that you're using for any, any kind of coffee. Check this thing out. I'm going to come over here so you can see it closer. This thing is so cool. I wonder where it's been my whole life. Okay, so it looks like this. So I'm going to scoop up my coffee. Oh, did I put it all in the cold brew? No, there we go. All right, so I'm going to scoop up the coffee like this, and then I'm going to slide this across. Ta! -da! So that's the perfect amount. And then you see this? It's like a little funnel. So you just go like this. Dun, da -da! Then this taps it down, and you're good to go. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this in here and turn it on here. Then you can choose what um, size coffee you want. I'll go with the 10 ounce maybe. There we go, oh, eight ounce, I guess that's what it is. All right, and then we're gonna have it do its thing. There we go. <laughs> I haven't had my coffee yet. I'm like, which one do I press? Anyway, it's really quick. It gets piping hot. Um, there's also a button you can use, which I pressed to make it a stronger cup of coffee than just a regular K-cup. So what it does is it brews a little bit, waits, and then brews a little bit more. You can, If you want it faster, you can do it faster. But I do the intermittent thing because it makes it a little bit stronger of a cup of coffee, which I really enjoy. By the way, if you're thinking, ooh, I'd love to have that coffee uh, machine, it's not on the market yet, but um, it is something that consultants can earn. If you sign on to become a consultant this month and you submit just um, 1250 in sales in your first 30 days of business, that's about two average shows, they're going to give you the coffee machine for free, you guys. Yes, sir. Um, we also have a few other things. We've got some cold brew um, packages. So if you don't have a cold brew pitcher, you can buy this cold brew and just use any pitcher to make cold brew coffee. So you can do that. There's um, some um, syrups that you can add to your coffees and other things. This one is a gourmet brown sugar. We also have a limoncello and a cherry almond, which oddly enough is almond free, which is good because I can't have almonds. <laughs> I'm allergic. We also have some new um, frap mixes. You can use it uh, in, in with the coffee machine. You can use it in your blender, whatever you want. This is a vanilla uh, cream frap and a Java chip. So, yeah. Hum. And by the way, there's even um, a recipe uh, for the cold brew pitcher where you mix it with, um, you make like a, a glaze if you want like a coffee glaze for, um, you know, some donuts or, or muffins or things like that. So anyway, guys, um, so there you have it. If you are wanting any of these items, let's talk because in June, this June, Pamper Chef is offering hosts the opportunity to earn double free. It is by far the most generous host uh, bonus that Pamper Chef offers, and they only usually do it once a year. And this year, it's going to be June. So if you want to get in on my calendar, let me know. We can do an express party if you and your friends are super busy. Um, so let me know, and we can talk details. Um, if you're one of the first three to comment under this video and say, hey, I want to book a party, then I'm going to give you an extra bonus. Okay. It could be one of these coffee items, but if you're not a coffee fan, I'll come up with something else that I think you'll love. All right. Have a great day.